Everyone close their eyes, please. Imagine a lush green place full of life with plants, animals, and the sounds of birds in the background. This is the forest. Stop. You may open your eyes now. This is our forest currently, and according to the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, half of our world's forest has been cut down. Then what is deforestation, and why is it happening? Well, deforestation is an act of cutting down large areas of trees. And the reason deforestation is happening is because people need wood for furniture and paper. It's also happening because of illegal logging, cattle ranching, and climate change. This graph shows the deforestation in Indonesia. As you can see, 2017's deforestation is decreasing because people are now more aware of the situation and are trying to stop it. Plus, deforestation has increased by 20%. Cambodia now has zero tigers left in the country, and 20% of the forests belong to Southeast Asia. We also had read an article from World Wildlife Fund, and it was about a farmer that became an illogger, illegal logger at Tanzania. He didn't want it to be an illegal logger, but he needs to because he needs to take care of his family. But that changed when Kara World Wildlife Fund Alliance came and helped his village. So now he stopped cutting down trees and start planting trees to stop deforestation. Through our research about deforestation, we took action and went to plant 100 mangrove trees at a place called Adult Jankai Homestay. This organization works in the forest. This forest is protected by the royal family. Because of that, 20 years ago, a lot of shrimp farmers came in, cut down the trees, and used the space for the, for the shrimp farms. But these shrimps only last one to two months. Because of that, the farmers use chemicals to create the farms to, that affects the shrimp to have a shorter lifespan. So this organization works to replant trees and let animals come back to their habitat. And right now, all the animals are back to their habitat, but we still have to plant more trees to help the environment. I'll tell you about our own country, Thailand. In 1930, 70% of Thailand's covered lush green forests, but today, only 25% of Thailand covered forests, and it is still decreasing due to deforestation. One reason for deforestation in Thailand is because in 1855 to 1934, the population of Thai people doubled from 6 million people to 12 million people. And another reason for deforestation in Thailand is because wood can be sold for a decent amount of money, and especially poor people cut down the trees and sell the wood because they need the money to feed themselves and their family. Deforestation is terrible, and we noticed a problem at our school, so we went to different classes in the PYP to ask them if they have recycled paper or good on recycled paper in their classrooms or not. We are doing this because we want to raise awareness that you could also use recycled paper instead of new paper. Deforestation is creating a very bad change for the world. For example, deforestation releases greenhouse gases. These gases, such as carbon dioxide, creates global warming. Once global warming happens, it makes South Pole's and North Pole's ice starts to melt, turning to water and going to the ocean, and making sea level rise. Once sea level rise happens, it causes flooding. 
Flooding goes into many different places, for example, homes, towns, cities, and other, and other places more. So and instead that the trees were supposed to be there to absorb water from going to these places, it wasn't there because of deforestation. Deforestation also creates animal extinction and a loss of habitat. As Kate said before, Cambodia now has zero tigers left, which also means that the forest in Cambodia is also decreasing. Deforestation also creates soil erosion, droughts, and also desert. Because that the trees absorb water, making the earth has water, has some water, making the earth not dry up. But once the trees were cut down, the, the earth doesn't have any water left. So the earth dries up and creating these problems. This is a graph about deforestation in 2001 to 2015 in million of hectares. As you can see, deforestation is the red mark. And as you can see, most of the country's red mark is decreasing. Europe, for example, has no red mark left, which means that they know about the problem and is trying to solve it. We also had interviewed a logger, and his name is Mr. Greg McCutcheon. He is not um, a logger that cuts down random trees, but he is a sustainable logger. What is a sustainable logger, and what do they do? Sustainable loggers cut down limited areas of trees that was set by the government, and those trees are enough for the country to use. Also, when they cut down uh, old usable trees, they'll plant two new saplings to let them grow. Other than we interviewed Mr. McCutcheon about his job, we also interviewed him about his struggles being a sustainable logger. And he told us that his struggles were that most people categorize him with other loggers who aren't sustainable and not plant trees. So that makes most people don't dislike him. So, so that are some of his struggles. So we should change our mindset about sustainable loggers and try to understand them more. And we should not judge people not from their jobs. For the artistic component, we painted a mural. It's made out of watercolor and has two trees winding up. One leads to an Amazon-like forest with aesthetic plants and animals, and another one leads to a deforestated, polluted, and littered side. The problem at first of making this artistic component was that we're the deforestation group, and it would be pretty ironic if we used new watercolor paper instead. So we figured a solution to use the old watercolor paper we used for an assessment back in UOI 1. The animals in the healthy ecosystem side resembles how the animals make things balance and like not make one species too overpopulated or too, too, too less populated. And on this side, there's a, as you can see, there are no animals left, which means it is an imbalanced ecosystem. So this over here resembles how the balanced ecosystem and this is the imbalanced ecosystem. The two trees winding up are like our choices. It's either me make a change in our bad habits or lifestyle to help the environment, or we keep letting our bad habits and lifestyle destroy the environment. In this side of the ecosystem is the one that we take care of it, and we had a great life. But in this side, we didn't take, of, take care of it. And so it's our choice how we want the world to be. We also went to a debate, and in that debate, we learned that people actually are aware of this problem and are trying to solve it, but they have different opinions of how to solve it. Like one group, they wanted to lower the price on eco-friendly product so more people would buy it, but another group wanted to educate people about this problem so they would help each other solve this problem. In that debate, we also learned new and interesting facts about deforestation and how we can help raise awareness. We read an article from WWF about illegal logging in Africa. Illegal logging destroys the forests that have wood that can be made into furniture such as tables, chairs, and paper. But illegal logging there destroys the forest, and nearly 80% of the low known an land animals live in forests. So WWF is trying to make an agreement with the locals there to stop deforestation. Deforestation doesn't only happen in Yunnan, it's also, ha uh, I mean Africa, but also happen in Yunnan. 
。下面我们要用中文来介绍云南的森林砍伐了。为什么我们选云南呢？因为云南的森林面积是中国第三大，可是因为森林砍伐就剩下百分之九了。云南的森林砍伐是因为公路建设和造纸等等的原因。可还有，因为人口越来越多，所以砍掉更多的树。大家都知道，大量的树被砍的时候，会带来很多的后果。那些后果会产生很多的影响，比如荒漠化、气候干旱、温室效应等等。那些影响会让云南人的生活更难。人们喝水和农业受到了极大的影响。政府做了很多来保护森林，但是我们可以帮忙。如果我们用一次性不用一次性的筷子，因为中国每年用五十七亿的筷子，还有如果我们用回收纸、废物利用，还有不用纸杯，就可以减少森林砍伐了。正如你所知道，道路建设、非法伐木业等原因，就是人们大量砍伐森林，产生直接的后果，就是有很多的负面影响，比如降低空气质量、全球变暖等等。所以，对于这一问题，不仅国家和政府要解决，我们也要从身边的小事做起，比如多用回收纸，少用纸杯。环境保护，人人有责。Now that you know about the deforestation in Yunnan, let's help take action. We had also taken another action in the school, which is we counted paper cups in the grade five hall. And turns out, on average, paper cups used per day is 64.6 paper cups, which is about 11,769 and 212 paper cups has been used per year. This is a very dangerous situation because that paper cups contain wax and plastic to keep the structure and can be able to refill multiple times. So now you know that paper cups is dangerous for your health and also dangerous for the environment. So please try to avoid using paper cups and use more reusable stuff. For example, use more water bottles instead of paper cups. So now that you know that deforestation has a great impact on our world, we hope that this presentation tells you that degrading the forest is really bad. The effects of deforestation are massive, but not unchangeable. We are safe as long we have a green lifestyle. Let's help save the forest. Thank you.